Welcome everyone to What's Happening in Crypto, exploring all of the latest from the crypto world and beyond. WanChain 3.0, it's alive. Now WanChain 3.0 in particular, this is the bridge between WanChain, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And even some ERC20 tokens, for example, we have MakerDAI, which is now active in this bridge scenario. We will see more ERC20 tokens coming in the future. But for now, it is really focused on getting these blockchains to talk with one another. Now, the interoperability thing, this is huge. And it really just goes to show all these conversations about getting just Ethereum to scale or just Bitcoin to scale. We don't need just Bitcoin and just Ethereum to scale. We actually need scalability right across the board. But when we see all of these different blockchains communicating with each other, talking to each other, then it becomes very, very interesting indeed because interoperability between the blockchains is going to be massive. It's going to change so many different things. If you can imagine a federation of blockchains that talk to each other, have bridges to each other, but have different functions from one another, right? Bitcoin does not need to be Ethereum. Ethereum does not need to be Bitcoin, nor does WanChain need to be either of those. It can be its own thing as it is its own thing. But for them to be able to communicate with each other in a seamless way and to, of course, more importantly, transfer value between chains, that starts to become very, very powerful. If we have this collaboration of different blockchains all working together, scalability issues become a totally different conversation, especially when Ethereum does scale, if it's up to a couple thousand transactions per second in a couple of years, as an example. Well, then that's a very robust place to be bridging to. There's a lot of value over there and there's a lot of easy transfer between these different chains. Interoperability is going to be absolutely key. And there's a few different ways that this is happening. We have, of course, you know, bridges that are happening, but also we have atomic swaps. Atomic swaps are going to be a very important piece as well of the future infrastructure of the crypto economy. And this is all going to help decentralized exchanges be much more robust than they currently are. Of course, we see currently most decentralized exchanges focus on just one chain. For example, IDEX is just an Ethereum exchange. Ether Delta is just an Ethereum exchange. And on and on it goes. It's very easy to do these decentralized swaps on one blockchain. But when you want to start moving between the chains, well, then you need to upgrade your technology a little bit. And when we can start having fiat on-ramps that are then easy to move into a decentralized exchanging situation, the future of centralized exchanges may really just be for bringing fiat in to allow you to then do decentralized swaps with all kinds of different things. And of course, in terms of actually adopting this technology and getting this technology to really take off to the next level, we need this kind of decentralized exchanging functionality, this functionality to have this interoperability between chains, because I don't know about you guys, I have like 15 wallets on my computer. It's ridiculous, completely ridiculous. 15 wallets, 15 passwords, 15 blockchains that have to sync half the time that you load them up and all this BS. It's not very user friendly. It isn't. And there are some wallets that let you store a wider variety of cryptocurrencies, obviously none that let you store all of them yet. But if in the future you didn't need to have all those wallets, if the interoperability between chains was so easy and seamless for users, that's going to be powerful when it happens. And it is going to happen. It's just a matter of when that interoperability becomes ubiquitous. If you can go into a shop and something's priced in Bitcoin, but you only have WAN chain, you can easily pay because you have that bridge there, right? Or you can use an atomic swap to send Litecoin to pay for that Bitcoin price, of course, that is. I'm excited about this technology. I can't wait to see the implementations of it get even larger, to have more blockchains talking to each other. Of course, there are a lot of others working on that inter-blockchain uh, operability. We have, of course, Icon and Aeon, who are also in there in the interoperability alliance with WanChain, working on bringing all of this to fruition, making the future one step closer. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on WanChain 3.0 and the importance of interoperability
between blockchains. I would love to know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when I drop a new video, there's a notification bell down below which you can click on to get informed when I do bring out a new video. If you enjoyed this video, pop a thumbs up on it. That'd be super awesome. And a quick reminder, you guys are amazing. I love you all. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.